from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Heather Lee, and here are your ABC Action News headlines. We're learning the man who attempted to breach the FBI building in Cincinnati, Ohio, has ties to Tampa. State voter records show that Ricky Schiffer was registered to vote in Tampa last year. He was armed and wearing body armor when he tried getting into the FBI building on Thursday. After the breach failed, there was a car chase and a standoff. Law enforcement shot and killed Schiffer. The FBI is now digging through social media accounts linked to him a day after the FBI searched the former President Trump's home in South Florida, an account with Schiffer's name on Trump's social media platform recommended that, quote, patriots go to Florida and kill federal agents. Police are investigating a shooting that killed a 15-year-old yesterday in St. Petersburg. Police say the teen was visiting a friend's house at a home near 43rd Street South and 12th Avenue. He died at the hospital. So far, there's no word on who the gun belonged to, but police urge gun owners to lock up their guns, especially around kids. Make sure your gun is secured and that it, it's not going to fall into the hands of minors. And it's important that you have a gun lock or have it in a safe or have it in a secure location where it's not just lying about that somebody could pick up and harm themselves. The victim's family has been notified. We will update you as soon as we learn more about this ongoing investigation. Last night, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers lost their preseason opener against the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins had the lead late in the fourth quarter, and the Bucs had a chance to win. But the Bucs kicker missed a 49-yard field goal. Final score, 26-24. The Bucs' second preseason game is next Saturday against the Titans in Tennessee. Now let's check in with Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. And we do have a better chance to see scattered showers and thunderstorms today. Your rain chance up to 60%, and it will be highest at the coast during the morning and early afternoon hours. And then we'll see the highest coverage shifting inland by the afternoon afternoon and evening and with the added clouds out there with some of these scattered areas of rain, we'll see temperatures held into the upper 80s to around 90 degrees versus mid to upper 90s like we saw through most of July. So we have that added cloud cover and that better rain chance here in August and that's going to help at least keep temperatures down slightly. Notice the coverage not too widespread through the morning hours, but again, the best chance will be here along the coast and then it becomes a bit more widespread as the sea breeze pushes inland and works with, of course, daytime heating as temperatures rise up to around 90 degrees. Now, Sahara dust does make a return Monday and Tuesday that will nudge the rain chances back down to around 30 to 40 percent by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It goes back up to around 50 to 60 percent. Heather. All right, Jason, thank you. We're always on when you need us. Make sure to add ABC Action News Plus to your favorite streaming device. We will see you there.